Okay, so I am having difficulties with my camera. I don't know if this is going to be the best quality or not. I had just filmed the entire living room and everything and my camera shut off saying that the memory card could not be accessed. So I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. Basically, I just want to start off by saying that I am making this video because I want to show my family an updated house tour. And then also, I would like to show people who are moving here to Yokota and want to see what a garden unit looks like. This is a two bedroom, one bathroom garden unit. We live on the bottom floor, so we do have a yard. And yeah, let's get started. So this is the front door. And then we'll come this way, that way you can kind of see everything. I'll give you an overview and then I'll kind of talk about some things. Okay, so you walk in. That's one of Shaw's plaques from a going away. This is our entertainment center. Sashi's chair that he just now rediscovered a couple days ago. Such a weirdo. Got the little dog toys over there. Coffee table. Our huge couch. And then I'll kind of show you over here. This is the entryway table. Got our signs and everything hung up. And the reason why the picture with the dogs is kind of in an awkward place is because we plan to get some hooks and like a shoe rack or shelf or something to go underneath it. So that's why it's a little bit higher up. So it's a work in progress. Come back this way. So like I said, we do live on the bottom floor and we do have a yard. Everybody on base, whether you're in a garden unit or in a tower, you do have a back sliding door. So for us, it leads to our backyard. People who are up on the you know top floor, they have a balcony, so they still have the sliding doors so they do come with the blinds that go all the way up and down which is nice so you don't have to get curtains I kind of like the look of curtains but this is all that I had whenever our stuff came and I just haven't changed them out or bought new ones yet I kind of feel like it looks okay but I'm sure eventually I'll change them out uh, one thing I want to note is the cool thing about living on this base is they have um let's see if i can zoom in they have basically like curtain rods built into the ceiling and they have these little plastic uh let's see hoops and then you buy either plastic or metal hooks that hang with the curtains so that's what i've done and i have four hanging up because mine weren't wide enough for just two so i kind of have four to like you know give us privacy at night but yeah I'll go over here that was Shaw's going away present from people in Korea which I think is really cute and another thing to note is every place like from every person that I've heard here on base there are no ceiling lights. So if you're waiting on your household goods, uh, <laughs> it kind of sucks because you have no lighting. So as you can see, we have different sources of lighting in here. We've got a little table lamp. Um, that little Himalayan salt lamp lights up as well. And then we purchased this floor lamp from Ikea when we first got here because we literally had no light in here. So that's one thing to be weary of then we've got this little cabinet got some willow trees just got some dog stuff in there my nail polish that i can just grab really quick i actually grabbed these um little handles from daiso yesterday well this one handle from daiso i feel like it goes better with our decor but i wasn't sure if it would work with this cabinet so i need to go back and purchase two more and yeah there's our wedding pictures Got some more of Shaw's going away presents. Got this little shelving unit set up with little black cubes. Just DVDs, electronics, all kinds of random things. Clearly I need to get more because I want to hide more stuff. It looks kind of junky to me, but 
just have some photo albums and scrapbooks and stuff and books. It's where I keep all my camera stuff. I got the little cactus light Shaw got me for my birthday a couple days ago. And then we've got Shaw's like pride and joy, his sword. <laughs> Give you another overview. It's pretty spacious. And I would also like to note that there is a thermostat in the living room. There's one in the dining room and there's one in each bed bedroom. So it's kind of cool. And the floors I wanted to note, you can probably see all the scratches. When we moved in here, things were pretty much like renovated and like completely new. So these are actually new floors, but you can see that the finish is still coming off. So if you come here and your floor starts scratching up and looking terrible, uh, just know that it happens to everybody. Ours looks honestly a lot better than some other people's, which is surprising because we have, you know, dogs and everything, but yeah. So we'll take you over here. This little door is like the breaker. This is basically a coat closet. And then you've got some shelves up top. I'll show you what the inside looks like. So it does have a rod. We put these hangers in here, obviously. You've got our coats hanging up, umbrella, our shoes until we get a shoe rack for the front door. We keep our vacuum cleaner and our Swiffer in here. And this shelf here was part of the pantry that I took out to like give us more space in there. So that's that. It's, it's fairly spacious. And then up top here, we don't have a whole lot up there. It's pretty deep as you can see. We just keep like our eyes. So looking from the living room, this takes you to the dining room and the kitchen. You can see a little thermostat, dog bowl. We are planning on getting a new table at some point, so <laughs> this is just kind of a makeshift table. Um, they're really big here on recycling in Japan, so we've got one regular trash can, and then the other little three ones are for, you know, paper and plastic and all that. Temporarily have this little table. Um, I would like to put plants on it, but it's kind of like you'd think it's a good spot with the window there, but it's honestly, it doesn't bring in a whole lot of sunlight. So I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, I also want to note that yesterday I went to Daiso and they have like these window clings um, just to kind of give us more privacy and they don't look that great, but you know, it kind of does the job. I'll show you how tall it goes. Once again, every window and door other than the front door has the curtain rod um, attachment things at the top. So. This is our little coffee and wine bar. If you know me, you know I love Ray Dunn. So. <laughs> and you've got this little window that leads into the kitchen. You do have a house phone jack. That is the pantry, and up there is more pantry storage space. Got a little picture right there. I'll kind of show you the pantry. So these have all these shelves that you can adjust. You can um, make them taller or sh shorter, which is nice. And the one up top doesn't have any shelves, but it does have like, you know, all that space and it's pretty deep. Okay, so leading into the kitchen, you've got the washer and dryer. Um, these are brand new. Like I said, whenever we moved in here, they had just renovated things, so if you're coming here, you might have different looking appliances. So just, just a heads up. Got all this cabinet space. I'll show you 
little cabinets. Once again, you can adjust them. They're really easy. You just unscrew the little metal thing and then you put them in the holes and you can make them as tall or short as you want. You just have a little stool behind there and the dog food. We keep like the laundry stuff like up there. This is like paper towels and then as you kind of saw like garbage bags and that kind of thing. Um, these houses do not come with microwaves. Uh, they do have, you know, the washer and dryer along with the stove and the refrigerator and dishwasher and everything, but they don't have microwaves. So down here, I kind of have my baking stuff. It's kind of organized. Down here, we've got like pot lids and all kinds of like different baking and cooking appliances. These are our messy pots. And then going up, we just have seasonings in here. Once again, all of these are adjustable, which is nice. I will say I was not expecting all this kitchen space. So it's pretty nice. Yeah. I'll give me another overview. Got that nice big window. Refrigerator is a good size. It's like a typical refrigerator. So then over here, you've got all these drawers, all these cabinets, just has all kinds of stuff. Pots and pans, medicine, junk drawer, all that good stuff. Dishwasher. I believe the dishwasher is new as well, even though it doesn't really look like it. You will want to get either a Brita filter or something like this for the faucet because their water does taste kind of strange. Got cleaning supplies under there and everything. More cabinet space. This is the stove and the oven. I will say the one frustrating thing about this oven is that there is no like clock or timer on it so i have to look at the microwave or i went to daiso and this was literally like 100 yen it's got like the date and time and then you can turn it and then it can be a kitchen timer you can turn it again and it'll show you like um like the degrees and everything so it's kind of cool you've got like the vent hood and everything these are actually not cabinets you can't put anything in there, by the way. And these are what the floors look like in here. It's just kind of a tile, which makes it easy to clean. So yeah, a good amount of space. So then you come back this way, that's the living room. I'll just kind of adjust here. So if you're facing, no, if your back is against the front door, this is what you see. So you got the dining room to the right. You've got one bedroom here to the right, which I'll show you in a little bit. And then you have another room there. So this is just kind of the hallway. Got a picture of me and my mom and my sister. So this is the bathroom. Like I said, it's one bathroom and a lot of our stuff is renovated. So this is a new sink and toilet. The cool thing about this sink is this is detachable, which is really cool and easy to clean. And then it also has different nozzles, which I thought was pretty cool. Got the little medicine cabinet mirror, which sucks. I am five feet. And this is what I see. It's kind of hard to do my hair and my makeup in here. So if you're short like me, just keep that in mind. You've got one light here, which does that light. So there's pretty decent lighting in here. Got all kinds of like 
stuff in there. I will say there's not a ton of cabinet space and storage space. So if you have a lot of stuff, you will need to figure out how to organize stuff. Um, what I've done is I've gone to Daiso and I've gotten a few things. Well, that plastic thing to organize stuff and those little white baskets I already had. But even though this looks cluttered, believe it or not, it is still kind of organized. I have this basket that I had with me, which is handy for stuff. We eventually would like to get some kind of cabinet for that side, but can't find anything that's thin enough. So, basket for the top. You've got this cabinet space, which my husband keeps most of his stuff over there. And then we keep like toilet paper up there. Normally it's filled with toilet paper. I just have the rest of it in the back of the car, so. <laughs> it's kind of empty looking. Um, this bathroom did come with this hook, which is nice. And I ended up getting a command strip hook from BX for my robe. It does have the hook on the back of the door already. It doesn't come with a shower curtain or anything, not even the plastic one, so you do need to obviously buy that. Um, it did come with some hooks like that, but they weren't enough to cover the length of the shower curtain. So I ended up just purchasing some new ones and I can't get the other ones off, so I just kind of left them and hid them. I'll show you what the shower looks like. There's no shelves or anything other than that little soap thing in the middle. I have tried to kind of clean the shower. It honestly doesn't look that bad in person. I feel like it looks kind of grosser on camera, but I've like really deep cleaned it, so it still kind of looks gross. But that's the faucet, or I mean the um, hose if you're interested. I actually really like it. floor looks like. Alright, so we're going to go to the master bedroom. You've got kind of like this linen closet and then you've got a little cabinet space up top. This is us somewhat keeping it organized. Towels and linens and everything. You can't adjust these shelves in there so keep that in mind. And then up top is just like all the other ones. It's just one big deep one with no shelving. All right, so got the thermostat. The carpet is brown. You've got all of this closet space over here and up top. Kind of an overview. Oh yeah, you do have the curtain, built-in curtain rods up top once again, and here you do have ceiling lights. This is probably like the worst decorated room. It's kind of uh, been the last on the list. It's kind of just hodgepodge with everything that we've had before we came here, so have a lot more decorating that we need to do. So yeah, it's a pretty good size. Um, the closet is a little, even though it looks big, it's a little small. This is my closet, basically. It's got the rod that goes all the way across and all the way back. But it's just difficult because you can't really get back there. doesn't have any shelves or anything, so you definitely need to either bring some or buy your own. And then up top is just kind of not very organized but it goes all the way across there more storage space have a lot of winter clothes up top to the right so then once we come out of the master room this is our guest room which is pretty um it looks more organized than it once was but it is still kind of crazy it's got like all our papers and printer and stuff that I need to sell and 
clothes that Shaw needs to go through, kennels that we brought the boys in, all that good stuff. Once again, the closet looks the same as the other room of top shelving. And you've got its own thermostat in here, which is nice. So yeah, that's that room. So once you come out of there, come to the front door and the living room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!